What kind of training do you do? I do a combination of powerlifting and bodybuilding. Um, I feel like you got to do both, especially if you're a beginner. If you want to start, you need to have the muscles that you can build through bodybuilding type training, especially the handle the weight that you do in the powerlifting style training. And how often do you work out? Eight times a week. Eight times. So do you do two a days? I do a two a day on Fridays, and I train every every other day once. And what's like the goal in doing two a days or training that many times a week? Well, the thing is, right now I'm cutting, um, and my favorite method of cardio is lifting heavy. So I just I'd rather be training more often than having to cut my diet by that much. Okay. Um, what got you into powerlifting specifically? Uh, I actually had a friend of mine named Colin that went here, um, and he was really strong. And I just, you know, I just kept talking to him in the gym, and he was a power lifter. He saw that I had some potential, so he kind of kept pushing me towards that. I, never, I was kind of hesitant about it at first, but then after a while, I decided to just go out and compete. And I did on Saturday, and it was a lot of fun, so um, I'm just going to keep with it. So, what keeps you motivated? Because being a power lifter and being in the fitness life isn't an easy task, so what exactly keeps you motivated and because determined? I've seen, I've seen where I was. Um, when I first got to school, I mean, I put on a lot of weight, and, you know, I wasn't really happy about that. My clothes was uncomfortable. You know, I wasn't in shape. Walking around probably get me out of breath. And, you know, anytime I want to slack something like that, I remember that, and I know that when I was there, I wanted to be where I am. And why would I quit if I already got to where I wanted to be? So you look at your past as motivation and past obstacles to uh, keep your drive going? Exactly. Uh, what are your long-term goals with powerlifting? Uh, I definitely want to hit elite status in powerlifting, um, which is kind of like if you hit a professional number, like I'll give you an example for the 198 weight class, if you hit a total, which is a combination of your bench squat and deadlift of 1,400, you'll be considered a professional. Um, but if you take a drug test and you prove that you're not on drugs and stuff like that, they'll consider you elite, which is you know, a little bit more impressive just because you're really, they're showing that you're really strong, but you're not using any steroids journey in general as your passion in life? Yeah, it keeps me going. I mean, it's, it's therapy. Some days it's not always about coming in here and working out. Um, and you know, some days it's just about, you know, I might be in here, I'll get an okay workout, but I'll be able to help out other people. Um, that, you know, I might have been back here, I'll be able to do some tips and stuff like that. So it's definitely helped me a lot more than just, you know, for the aesthetics and the strength and stuff like that. So for you, it's more, it's more of a, it's physical as well as a mental thing for you. Yeah, it is. Um, so, I know competition, and your first competition, you're probably a bit nervous. How, how are you going to calm your nerves before the competition? I took two days off. I've been able to eat all week. Um, kind of stopped on my diet a little bit. Food is very calming, so <laughs> that's just the, the type of stuff that I was doing, just to get calm and hoping it pays off. Do you uh, focus on yourself as your own competition or you look at others as competition? I always want to beat myself, beat who I was yesterday, who I was yesterday. that way I'll be that way, on, on top of my game. You, know, you never know who's going to be in the gym. Some days you might be the top dog and those days you're not going to want to work as hard. So it, focusing on other people is going to make you inconsistent in your training. Any advice for any anybody embarking on a fitness journey, powerlifting, physique, or just to lose weight? Stay consistent. Anybody can come in here and kill it for a week and take a month off. Um, the ones that you see that have the best physiques or that are the strongest ones are the ones that come back, you know, come on a consistent basis. You know, some people might not be able to train any time a week because, you know, maybe their body can't handle it, maybe their schedule can't allow them to. So I mean, just coming in those four times a week and just killing it, continuously doing that week in, week out, it's going to pay off in the long run. And my last question is, how do you feel about breaking out of your comfort zone? Especially in the weight room, do you believe that that helps you grow as a person? I always do it. You know, I'm actually in my shock week right now, which is pretty much everything I'm doing is very uncomfortable. You know, I'm going very heavy. You know, very heavy, but for many, for many reps. You know, I've been lifting since Monday and it's Wednesday right now. Um, but I mean, I love it. It's painful, but I know that it's through that pain that I'm going to grow. You know, when I'm in here, I'm always chasing the way to make myself hurt more because once you start doing something for a while. Like my body adapts very fast, so I have to break out of my comfort zone. I'm not going to make any progress. So, you would say that powerlifting is probably your favorite thing to do, and you're just going to keep on trying to get better and better each and every day? Yeah. All right, thank you, Mr. Epi.